Today's experiment is going to be going to have to do with the water cycle. Now here are the ingredients. A plastic wrap, the cup, the bowl, an ice cube, and hot water. Alright, step one. Put the cup in the bowl and then um, you pour the hot water in the bowl, right here. Of course you already see it evaporating. Alright, now you wrap, put the saran wrap on. Put it tightly around the bowl, like this. Then you put the ice cube on. Tap right over the cup. Here's the hot water down here. You can pretend this is the sea. Plastic wrap up here is um, the atmosphere. And there's going to be an ice cube on top right over the um, cup in the middle. So I think you see that. So what's happening with the water is that the sea has water vapor evaporating into the atmosphere and it's condensing on the top. And then the ice cube, I think when it hits the ice cube, it'll precipitate into the cup. And yeah. All right, do you see the ice cube? Yep, there it is. You can see water con conden um, condensing under the ice cube and then when enough water will gather, it'll precipitate into the cup, known as the land. So, what's really happening is the heat of the sun, right there, warms up the ocean. You could pretend this is the ocean. And then the warm water evaporates and meets the cold air. And, well, the ice cube is making cold air. And it condenses when it meets the atmosphere. So when it, the condensation, or con, whatever, condensation, when it gets heavy enough, it precipitates down to Earth again. And then you can just pretend this is the lake and it will precipitate over into the lake. So I took off the saran wrap and I took out the cup and now this is how much water precipitated into the lake. See? And that's the end of our water cycle experiment.